Our team continues to ask, where's the money during the pandemic? Here's a preview of what we're working on all new tonight at 11. Seeing a ton of five-star reviews for a product or service means you're buying the best, right? Companies are wanting your business and are resorting to desperate measures to get it. It just makes it really hard for the consumer to really know what to trust. I'm Jane Monreal. We'll show you how to spot a fake review so you get the real deal with your hard-earned cash. Tonight's Where's the Money at 11 p.m. on WCNC Charlotte. Reviewing the reviews on Amazon and other online shops. We'll tell you why you should dig a little deeper and how to spot something that's fake. Well, Amazon is cracking down on fake reviews. The online giant filing suit against two companies for giving money or products so that folks would leave positive reviews. Where's the money? It's Jane Monreal looking into why these fake reviews are so bad for business. Tactics used by third party sellers to generate fake reviews have become so bad in the last five years. Amazon included a policy saying it's against their terms and services to incentivize reviews. Another reason these days you need to review the review before you hit checkout. And it just makes it really hard for the consumer to really know what to trust. Stephen Pope is an expert on Amazon. He says Amazon is going through a lot of changes recently. An increase of competition on pricing from the Chinese, increasing competition from how you sell on the platform from the Amazon aggregators. About $13 billion has entered the space in the last year alone to go buy Amazon brands. And then Amazon making that maturity go up and harder to sell on the platform. So that's the reason why fake reviews are showing up is because it's really hard to sell on Amazon. He says the easiest way to spot a fake is if a review doesn't make sense. You're shopping for a chef knife, but you see they're talking about sponges. Shopping for services on Google, you're also susceptible to the pitfalls of a fake review. And so people go to Google when they have a need, and if you are the top spot, then they choose you. They feel like you're the best result because Google's showing you at the top. Jeff Gildan at Charlotte SEO is in the business of getting eyes on a business, and reviews are part of that. We have to police that day in and day out. Well, he, he does, his company does because you can easily, I mean, we all, we all use Google reviews for everything. If Ken Bracken gets a bad review for his crypto company, he can't ask Google to take it down unless the reviewer says something threatening, but he can respond to it, then flag it. But flagging a review can also work against a business in online warfare, Gildan should know. It recently happened to him. There was a fake review left on, on our listing, as well as somebody actually went in and flagged it. And um, they said, well, this business doesn't exist, right? Well, obviously we exist. Gildan had to re-verify Charlotte SEO as a legitimate business, which took almost three weeks. And during that time, his company's listing didn't show up on a Google search. He says companies with 100 to 200 reviews, the sheer number means those are more likely to be authentic reviews. Also, if you suspect a fake review on Amazon, report it on their contact page. The company could trace it back on the number of reports they get. Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Some good information to know there.